What's going on guys, BGG Crypto here. If you like crypto mining, if you like crypto, hit the subscribe button, hit the likes, leave us a comment below. In today's video, we are gonna be showing you how to switch a GPU rig over from something like Windows, if you're on Windows right now, over to Hive OS. Hive OS is pretty awesome. There's so many different features. It makes things simple. You could check it from your phone, all that good stuff. So stick with us. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna figure out is what you're going to use to store the operating software on. So are you gonna use a new SSD? Are you gonna use um, a flash drive? Are you gonna take the original SSD that had Windows on it? Whatever, figure that out. Um, then you're gonna, you know, if you use the SSD, you need, you know, a way to plug it into your computer. So you need a USB, you know, connect to uh, the SSD there and then um, that way you can flash it or if it's a US or a yeah, USB drive like that guy there then um, obviously you don't need nothing you just plug it in so let's jump on the computer and get started all right guys here we are we have gone to hiveos.farm and this is where you're gonna download the hive os so you're going to go to install here you're going to go to gpu and download the zip file now we're not going to download it because we already have it downloaded from another project a couple weeks ago um now while you click that and download that um you're also going to need if you don't have it already some kind of um way to unzip that file um you can use Belena Etcher here if you don't have anything now, 7-zip, so on. Um, so download that if you don't have something to extract those files. Now you're going to want to go up here to sign in. And then you're going to want to create an account with Hive OS. So go ahead and register. All right, guys. Once you are in Hive OS, you're not going to have a farm, so you're going to want to create a farm, enter the farm name, um, and so on. Once you have your farm, you can click on that guy, and then you are going to want to create a new rig. So you're going to add a worker. This one's going to be, let's call it uh, RTX 3060 rig, even though we have a 3080 on it. Now, for the password, you can have them just generate one. Um, you can enter tags here, you can enter worker description there. Let's go 3060 times 3, 3080 times 1. And then we will add. Now, here's important you're going to want to write down this rig ID and this rig password or download this config file. If you put the config file into your flash drive with the um, downloaded OS, the Hive OS, you, it'll just automatically log into your account once it's fired up. So that's what we're gonna do. So we've got that downloaded there. And now we will open up Belena Etcher. All right, now we got Belena Etcher open. So we're gonna flash from file. 
you can go to your downloads find your hive os file that you downloaded where is ours there it is now you're going to select the target there's our flash drive select flash So this will take a few minutes. So just sit patiently. All right, guys, flash is complete. You can see there we got hive here. Now, if you go to checklist and it doesn't show up, eject the flash drive and plug it back in and it should come up. Um, so now we want to drop our rig config file onto that drive there. So let's find our downloads. There they are, rig config file. Oops, drag that guy onto Hive. There it is, rig config file. You can get rid of this rig config example. And there you go. You are all set. So we will see you at the computer. We're going to go plug this guy in and fire it up. All right, guys. So we got power going to power supply. We plugged in our flash drive, our Ethernet and HDMI for the monitor. So now we are gonna fire this guy up. And there we go. Hive OS is now starting. There you go, you can see it. Now since we dropped our rig config file right into our flash drive, it should just log right in to Hive OS for us. So we will run over to uh, Hive OS and see if it's on there. As you can see it is picking up our GPUs there. The 33060s and the oh and the 3080. There it is. Right there. So we will go check those out on Hivo and see you there. All right guys, so here we are on Hivo S. It looks like we do have two online now, whereas we only had one before. Here is our 3060 rig we just built um, now online, but as you can see, we are missing a flight sheet, which means it's currently not mining. It doesn't know where to um, what pool to mine with, you know, and so on. It needs a wallet attached, all that good stuff. So you're gonna wanna make a flight sheet. You're also, if you haven't done this yet and this is your first time, you're gonna wanna create a wallet. So you will go add wallet. Um, you'll go, you know, ETH, wallet address, um, name the wallet, you know, whether it's a, you know, exchange or whatever the case is and so on you can fetch wallet balance and it will pull the um, you know the wallet balance from whatever address that is um, and so on and yeah so go ahead and create that we already have one created so we're not going to create ours we are going to go to flight sheets now you're going to want to create your flight sheet you know once again pick your coin pick the wallet you just created select your pool that you want to mine with there's you know plenty of pools we do ether mine um you can do you know whichever one you feel comfortable research it there's you know plenty do a little search and you'll find all kinds of info and then miner you can pick you know tons of different miners as well so we already have our flight sheet created so we are just going to apply our same flight sheet on our other rig to this one so you'll click on your rig go to flight sheet here and you're going to hit the rocket 
Now this is telling me that I'm adding a second rig so I will be charged a three dollars a month so I'll just click apply worker updated successfully and let's go back to the overview and this thing should shortly start mining so we will be back to you once it's hashing in a few minutes And here we go. Looks like we got our 3060s hashing, our 3080. Here we go. So now we can definitely make this better. We can overclock these and so on to reduce wattage and uh, gain mega hashes. So what you can do here is if you click on this, it'll pull up or if you have all the same card you can click on all and do them all at once so let's go here now once you click here you can um, go to popular presets and you will select a coin here and there you go it'll pop up for your given GPU the most popular presets that people have already set here so there's a bunch of them make sure you do your research here and so on and then pick one accordingly you know google some stuff and see what other people are using and don't just go off of those before you pick one so there you go we are hashing and we are currently mining and that's it if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. We'll try and help you. Maybe someone else will be able to help you before we'll get to you. Either way, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and hit the likes. Appreciate it, guys. Take care. We'll see you next time.